Messiah versus Kragar. This is the duel of the century. When you watch these two juggernauts enter the arena, only one comes out alive, but the battle is a hard fought one every single time. Saya with a quick stun onto Kragar, going for a trinket, disarm as soon as he sees wings out of Saya. Saya, I think, plays the wake of Ash's wings, but Kragar, I think, wants to get ahead of Saya as best as possible. He wants to start forcing out defenses out of him. That or he wants to try to see if he can go for a big shatter. Saya with a shield of vengeance wall getting separated from that with though and scragger just trying to see if he could maybe hang back for a moment wait out the cooldowns of saya he's gonna wait out the shield of vengeance reflect goes up in case there's a stun ready out of saya now saya can go for a stun of his own but the wings are not available stun no wake of ashes he's got maybe a bit of no wake of ashes is back never mind wake of ashes is gonna be up with wings every single time i think i don't think Kragger can win that into a staring glare oh he can just play defenses he can't even heal right now he's got enraged regen but the bloodthirst are just gonna miss so he can't properly heal himself right now stun onto saya does go for the trinket there the cracker super super low could go for rallying cry and battle master so he's got at least a little bit of health he can buy himself buy himself a little bit of health with the battle master trinket right now bubble out of saya reflect this up and scragger able to break past it into a stun does saya have wings if he has wings he might be able to do something here cracker give him some more health with the rally cry looking for those big execute slammers got himself avatar and everything available stun onto saya might have enough damage saya does not have an immunity for a while cragger needs to go and make as much damage happen before the next stun shield of vengeance i don't know how you can win this i don't know how you can live this you need to heal right now or you just back away i don't know if you can i don't know if you can first aid first aid keeping them all barely alive barely hanging in oh the stun i think it's just over unless 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 oh no I was gonna say, told you it's a hard fought battle. Wings over 27, 27 seconds strong. Is it actually 27? Oh, do you guys have that one talent that I think you're losing actually? Or well, maybe you're not. I, I need to double check. But yeah, the cooldown reduction on the holy power generators. Yeah. Regenerate for Saya. Wait, hold on. Is, is Retro old phys Retro is non physical damage. Retro does no physical damage. Is that what Paladins are? You guys are all holy damage? Even your melee swings are holy? I guess your melee swings are Crusader strikes and they do holy strike damage, so this counts as a holy. But I thought the holy strike being physical and melee would break past Saya's defense, but I guess it doesn't. I guess it doesn't. So you can literally press Spell Warden and it acts like a bubble because Paladins all holy damage. <laughs> Is there any physical hits at all? Ever? <laughs> Blades of Justice, maybe? <laughs> Is that also Holy Strike? I think that's also Holy Strike. And Retro might just go down unless he bubbles it. No, he can't bubble. He already bubbled. Saiyan just... Oh my god. <laughs> he literally got a full bubble, full reset off of the battle. Oh my. Are he going to be up next? Saiyan at this point left with almost nothing. Lay on hands is the only thing he's got. I think he may want to use a lay on hands pretty early on though. The empathy is super high, so you can get yourself pretty low before he uses it. It's just you want to really be careful with the lay on hands and the dampening in particular. Versus Arky, he doesn't bring any uh, healing reduction effects versus Pally, so he might be able to go full value on it too, or most of the value. Knock Saya back. And Saya, perfectly fine hanging back. Actually, he's got Arky dotted. There's a tether and everything. He's gonna have to wait it out. Even though our auto attacks are no longer physical, if we take Crusader Strikes, the Tempest Strikes to counter it. That is crazy. Is Crusader Strikes... Just normal Crusader Strikes is just like holy? Pure holy? Wow. You act yeah, so when Saya went for Regenerate and I was like, wait, it's a Paladin melee. Is there gonna... Like, are his autos auto even physical damage? Literally none of it. That is wild. Got himself Arky, full ascendance. Now is an opportunity for you to potentially make a play. Maybe if you can pre-wall a stun out of Saya, you might be all right. But look at the damage, Saya, the punishment. This man can deliver back to back. It doesn't matter. Wall for Arky. It's going to be Saya going for a searing glare. But that Hodge, that judgment broke that blind a little early. Light lasso, Saya with a trinket. Arky left with very, very little he could work with. Stun onto Saya. He doesn't have a double stun. He got himself bloodless. Maybe it'll be enough here. He's got himself lots of potential damage, but that Dawn Light as well as... Oh, boy, that's just a lot. I think it was a Battle Master Strike had fallen off, too. I think he got himself a lot of health to work with, but it just fell as the burst came out by the Pala. He just set it down for even more food. Man, so far, Team Kragger is a limping man. We got ourselves Cobri. We got ourselves Rifty over here. <laughs> hey, my man, how you doing? I miss Rifty. I miss Rifty. 
the thrifty rifty is what I usually like to call him. I like it. Look at this man. Look, look at this guy's mug. He is like a kind of thrifty. Look at him. As Cobra got himself a mortal coil, putting Saya out in the open, away from the pillar of fear. That's going to be Saya not setting the fear for long. The shield of it is available, just getting absolutely pummeled by the chaos mother bobble to follow. It's going to be a port for Cobra backing up out of the sending us to the gateway. He can escape, but Saya will not be able to chase. He's going to have to give up that chase. He's still got a tether on some of the demons of uh, Cobra, but he's not going to be able to get those dots on Cobra himself. As he's got himself at least a little bit of help to work with Succubus catching around the corner. Cobre, as long as he's playing carefully, he could just whittle away size defenses. Stuns, fears like this, and Chaos Bolts is going to just chip away and eat away his health bar. That is going to be Pitlord. Pitlord, Pitlord, what are you doing, Pitlord? Okay, oh, he got a tether. He got a tether. Look at the damage. Oh, it wasn't a lot. He got it so late. But at least he's got a Pitlord uh, tether. I was going to move the camera over to his big old mug and be like, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Come on, you're embarrassing Colby over here. You're embarrassing this guy. Is it going to be more portals out? Saya just goes in, seeing cooldowns out of Colby, has to back away with it, but overlord oh, around the corner with a cleave. You can chill the vengeance. That's about all you can do right now. I don't know if there's anything else you got left. Bob coming up very, very soon, though. So maybe he can play around the Bob blind with the searing glare. Colby can't respond, but the succubus can maybe catch. Does he have a succubus? He doesn't have a succubus. He's got to summon a new Syed. Oh no. Oh no. And a first aid for Syed. Hold on. I think this man might just create a situation where he could potentially come back and he's got mage food with Alex. So he's got himself a little recovery. Syed could bring him back home. Syed could be bringing this back home. Cobre with a quick conflagration. Got him some bonds that fell on the Syed. Syed, 30 seconds until you have your spell warden. And that'll give you immunity to any magic damage. Chaos Bolt from a distance. Soul Fire right after. Does try to dodge the uh, <laughs> Fiddler, but that time Fiddler actually gets quite a bit of damage, quite a bit of value on your Cobra with a wall. Saya, as long as you can force Cobra to play defensively, you might be all right. Stun, Ruination. Oh, it doesn't feel good at all. You got to something. Oh, immunity was going back in five seconds. And Cobra just sent a bolt into the guy, wiping him out. That was going to be such a good go. But man, Destro Warlock, if they get you locked down for a quick second, a fast cast of a bolt, that's it, man. That's a fast cast of your life gone. Wasted away just like this. That's so rough. Shift the power out for Alex. Alex E. Goza. Alexi? Is that what it's supposed to be? Aloxi? No, I got him named wrong completely. I call him Alex. It's Alex. I call him Alex. Close enough. The O sounds like an E, but it's okay. It's foreign. <laughs> I guess you could just go with that. <laughs> oh, oh, that was sucking. Like, uh, are you dead? Are you dead? Are you dead? okay? I was gonna say because it looked like he was just gonna spam damage. He's got a full burst of the cover. I was like, he's not gonna block. And that chaos mother hurts. That chaos mother just funneling that damage into you. When you see that tether, know that it's gonna hurt. It's not, it, it actually does real damage. It used to do no damage before. It used to just buff up the warlock, but those demons are just some of the big ones. The overlord, the chaos mother. The Pit Lord, all of them hurt. Chaos Bolt, and that's gonna be. Oh, Pit Lord! Ah, catches the burst around the corner. Is it hitting? I don't think it's hitting. I don't think it's hitting. I think the animation played. I don't think he actually gets to send anything. So, okay, so Pit Lord, not <laughs> consistent. Got it. Ruination, very. Never mind. Also, not consistent. I literally see, saw this man's health bar not even move when Ruination landed next to him. Who? <laughs> I thought Ruination for a good bit was like a. Uh, like a. Like a. Like a, like a missile that always reaches the target. I thought it was like, I don't know. I, I guess I missed it. I guess it's just like a meteor, which is without a reticle under your feet to know if you got hit by or not. Alex, oh, conflagration. Burnt out the last bit of light out of the guy. BBQ going to be up next, charging in versus Cobra. He's got no wall. He got more to call I, I, Infernal. He may just have to use Infernal and go super aggressive with BBQ. He's got himself a succubus, but a succubus is not going to last long at all, though. Is going to drop down Infernal just to make sure he gets himself a proper stun. Mortal Coil starting off strong. BBQ going to break the bonds of fell. Dropping down the portal. Oh, almost kiss hands. BBQ running, but he's got himself a port. Wait a second. Oh, what was that? It put him into the wall, into the statue. It looks like that spear is not going to let you go anyway. It's just an auto grip for BBQ. Got him so reflect. I don't know what you can reflect back at the guy. I think you reflected a cancel potentially. Or not, BBQ getting blasted out by the Chaos Mother and Infernal. It's not feeling good at all. It's not feeling good whatsoever. Got himself a quick charge. Is it enough though? Cobra able to extinguish another life. Someone needs to stop this man. 
right here right now plus you're the guy you just gotta get in there assassination rogue you got our next target you gotta assassinate cobra he's been tearing the team apart you gotta do what you can a cloak or shadow so dodge and suck him as you see immediately is it still gonna queue up wall out for cobra backup and available again death mark up for plush got himself maybe king's bane to fall the king's bane everything is available cobra got himself wall that's a lot of dots he's got to find him to take out plush very very quickly plush has a vanishing case he needs to smoke bomb and cobra got himself plenty of health to work with back it up out of the pit lord standing there awkwardly just staring at the rogue it does nothing cool thank you pit lord very cool are you just dead to the dots you might be dead to the dots you need a succubus to catch the rogue oh slow the rogue though hold on a second that's perfect slow the rogue before you catch a reself just so you can have a go board immediately for cobra he just tried to buy himself as much time as possible without the rogue catching a quick vanish there goes the orophine does go for the cleave overlord though around the corner what are you gonna do try to cast decide not to Board onto plush. Cobra needs to keep him in there. Does board the rogue away. Hold on. Maybe Succubus catches him. Does it get to Succubus catches him. Hold on a second. I think Cobra might have just taken the win here with a bold board of cool combo. It's in red soul fire just for the dunk. Oh my. Can plush escape or it's over? She death. Is it over? Oh, the chaos mother says it's over. Mama says good night holy man wasn't even given a, a second to even abandon himself immediately a feral charge at him man's left with nothing oh he is the hero team one needed there holy <laughs> oh man and it's down to rift team versus a feral fire mage versus the cat you gotta get yourself full combo on him i don't know if you'll be able to it's you could just shrink it and run away but you gotta get full meteor a uh, full array of things on him 62% dampening. Feral cannot really heal from this. What do you just do? You just send a uh, uh, frost fire bolt at the guy? I swear it looked like you just sent a frost fire bolt proc. He is dotted. <laughs> he is dotted. <laughs> he is, uh, is dotted. He can't, he can't catch a restart normally. Rift you may want to hang out by the eyes. I don't know if you want to do that or not. You got a block. He can't heal for the block though. He's going to have to use it for an immunity. <laughs> Bump Warrior Nerf Bucket Pallet. What? <laughs> <laughs> is that what we, uh, uh, they're doing some changes actually they're doing some class tuning i'll need to take a double check uh double check them maybe they did before here meteor coming down is going to be a razor trying to see if you can avoid it still pyroblasts are hurting though that damage builds up rifty lots of bleeds on you that's a vulture so he's going to be able to alter some of that damage shift the power to collect some cooldowns back and get the shields a little bit shields are not gonna be the winner here but at least they're gonna help him <laughs> what is this random prox yeah he's totally hit him through a wall with a frost fire he's totally get some random hits here and there as razor decided to sit down for food rifty can also sit down for food all right 70 percent dampening 30 minutes into the match who wins this one boys a feral druid who can heal but the dampening is so high that you're not going to be able to heal anything or rifty the fire mage with the ice block immunity Put in your bets right now put your bets in now will be the time to find out <laughs> it's gonna be the long one man neither of them wants to die or lose this so it's gonna be a long one razor hanging out next to the eye rifty could walk up and pick it up but razor's right there to meet him uh oh yeah goes the opener oh ursos blinks it either way doesn't matter oh no it puts it back Looks like it puts him back. I don't know if he back blinked for it or not. Meteor coming down. The Feral trying to see if he can avoid it. That is going to be some damage coming in with a full wall. Razor is using the wall really early on, but he's actually taking more damage than Rifty. He put himself busy on the guy, but Rifty got himself lots of procs. Could be a block right here. Trying to go for a blink. Maybe a shield. Does he have any? Block. And Razor back there does have images kind of hanging out next to Razor. Should be able to hit him with a Frostbolt or two. Keep him in combat. Keep him out of stealth at the very least. Hopefully at least out of stealth. If they ever... Frostbolt, there we go. There it goes. Thrifty got himself a cooldown reduction. Random combust procs. Hey, Ali, what's up, Lore? What are your bets on, man? Rifty wins this or Razor? Because he did burn the wall. Trinkets are available for both of them. Rifty no longer with an immunity. He does have Invis, so it's going to give him like a 60% DR for a few seconds. And he has an Ultra, so he might be all right. Picking up the eye. Should be able to see the Feral. Feral leaping in. Ultra time is available. Try to knock him. Not going to be able to. Bash up the Rifty. Has a blink for this one. He has Ultra. So you can always reposition Razor, depending on where you position yourself. He's going to be able to port right to you. Try to see if you can maximize the damage. Blink out for the mage yet again. Combust proc is available. He's going to be able to back blink towards Razor. And Razor looking to see if he can avoid him. Does catch a resell by the looks of it. But he's still out in the open. Trying to go for big bleeds. Bites to follow. Meteor down. Rift with a blink. Maybe invis for DR. Knocking the Feral back. I think the Feral takes it though. Oh, cheat death. Hold on a second. I forget. Fire Mage is going to cheat death. He's trying to see if he can end them. Is it going to be enough, though? Oh! He just needed to survive. And survive, he did. 
That was so clutch. Cobra with a four. I still can't believe that he was live for as long as he was. My goodness. Let's get us another one going here, boys. Yeah, one of us, one of us. One of us, one of us.